The man who predicted black holes. Before anyone believed him, Chandrasekhar's forgotten limit. In the 1930s, a young Indian physicist on a ship to England changed our understanding of the universe with a single calculation. His name was Subramanian Chandrasekhar, a quiet genius who asked one question. What happens to a star when it dies? After weeks of calculations, he discovered something unbelievable. A massive dying star doesn't simply fade, it collapses under its own gravity, shrinking to an unimaginable density. Today we call this limit the Chandrasekhar limit, the exact threshold that determines whether a star becomes a white dwarf or collapses into something far stranger. But when he presented his discovery, the world laughed at him, including the legendary physicist Arthur Eddington, who publicly humiliated him, calling his work absurd. For years, Chandrasekhar worked in silence, ignored by the scientific world. But decades later, astronomy proved him right. His calculations became the foundation for understanding white dwarfs, neutron stars, and even black holes, the most mysterious objects in the universe. In 1983, he finally received the Nobel Prize. The world apologized, but it was too late. A forgotten genius whose quiet math revealed the fate of dying stars and changed astrophysics forever.